Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel. As you all may know, I have been a bit tardy lately. For the past two or three weeks, I have just not been uploading videos. Because of work, school, a sick dog downstairs, who is getting better? By the way, I should post some pictures of him on my Instagram. I don't know why I haven't already, but the point is is that I have missed a lot of Alien Predator news in these last couple of weeks. Not just from NECA, but Haya Toys as well, which we will be covering in this video, but for the most part, it probably is just going to be NECA. And rather than doing a bunch of separate videos on each of these announcements in regards uh, to, to the actual figures and um, like I, for the dog alien there was the packaging reveal. Not really a big deal but uh, I wanted to touch on it but I didn't want to make a bunch of different videos. I thought I'd just sit down with y'all and scroll through my community post tab on my channel if you haven't checked that out already. Go do that, because whenever I'm not making videos, I am on here. I pretty much post daily, and the same thing goes with Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm all over the place with my Alien Predator obsession, so heads up. But I'm going to be taking a look at my community post tab, and we're just going to go in the order of these releases. Um, like I mentioned, goes back a couple weeks, so let's get into it. So the first thing is actually not figure related. I did, again, make a post about this on all my social media platforms, but yes, I did go see 1979's Alien by the well-renowned Mr. Ridley Scott, and it was pretty gosh darn awesome to see it on the big screen. I saw the original Predator on the big screen in LA in the Egyptian theater like 10 years ago, something like that, and that was pretty awesome. So I saw the big players on the big screen, and I hope to see the second Alien film, Aliens, uh, on the big screen one day. And You know, ideally I'd love to see all of these films on the big screen. I didn't even see Predators, the third one, on the big screen, but I saw the 2018 version, and it'd be cool just to see all of them, and obviously I got to see Prometheus, Covenant, all that, but the older stuff, that would be a cool treat. But without out of the way, let's get into the figures. All right, first one up is the NECA Toys Kenner Homage Rhino Alien. Now, if you've been following my channel, you'll know that at Comic-Con, I took some pictures and some videos of this feller, and I made a video about him, and he is just Brilliant. I don't know why I'm calling him a he. Technically, xenomorphs are all she. But goddamn, I want this. It is just so flipping cool. It, you know, it, it's rare nowadays to get a completely new figure from NECA. As far as the aliens go, they do tend to kitbash a lot of stuff. And so when we get something like this, which is pretty much almost 100% new, it's pretty cool. The reason I say almost 100% is because I think there are some pieces on this that are a reuse. Maybe some of the joints, part of the arms or legs. Um, but for the most part, obviously, it's a brand new figure. And it is releasing in May 2020. So we do have a little bit of a wait. I am patient. And he is, or she is, retailing for $35. And... That's about it. I, I'll be, look, fellas, gals out there, folks, the figure is amazing. If you're an Alien fan, hell, if you're a Predator fan, you're probably going to pick this up, right? It is such a beautiful figure. That translucent red, uh, translucent red plastic is just beautiful, and I'm sure it's going to come in a pretty gush darn impressive box. I'm guessing, yeah, so this is an ultimate figure. So the box... I'm guessing is going to be pretty gosh darn huge. Uh, probably for this pay, uh, figure, I'll uh, get a double just because uh, it just it would look so cool in the packaging. Um, and I don't do that with the Kenner stuff usually, but I'll do it with her because she's just really really unique. And uh, yeah, we got we got a ways to wait. May 2020. I'm filming this on October 28th. 
2019, so yeah, got a little bit of a wait. <clears throat> the good thing though is NECA's usually pretty good about their release dates. In my experience, I tend to get the figures uh, generally earlier uh, than when they're supposed to be released. Um, well, let's think about this more logically. I do get the figures later on, but they are available at certain targets around the country earlier than expected. But uh, my part of town takes a little bit. But So let me know what are your thoughts on the Rhino Alien. She is gorgeous, and I'm definitely going to pick her up. Let's move on. Alrighty, Hiya Toys. You have, uh, you've been putting out some good stuff there, folks. You've caught my attention, and I, you know, honestly, with Hiya Toys, I never really thought I'd get into them. I'm pretty much strictly a 7-inch collector, right, with the NECA stuff, and obviously, you know, Hot Toys occasionally, but the Hiya stuff, I mean, it looked pretty cool, but I never thought it would be something I would get into. But I picked up a couple of them some months back. Uh, some of the Lost Tribe figures. They are just so cool. They got problems. If I ever do a review of them, they got problems. Okay? But they are pretty gosh darn cool, regardless. So, when they announced, finally, Tracker Predator from Predators. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting it. I'm getting... Uh, I'm getting Tracker, getting Falconer, and I'm getting Berserker. That's for sure. And if you want more than just a Tracker, how about a Predator Hound? Which is just like Tracker releasing, let's see, August 2020. So yeah, that is a bit of a wait, folks. That is pretty much a year away, which is pretty crazy, but... If you're like me and you're a completionist, you're not going to complain too much because I spend a lot of money, right? So, <clears throat> I can I can be patient. And I have the NECA ones as stand-in, so that's that's that. But the actual figures, they look great. Yeah, I mean, you know Hyatt Toys, they're really, really small. But considering their size, they're actually really, really well done. The amount of detail they've put on them is great. Um... I mean, even if you look at, like, the fishnets that are sculpted on, they're pretty pretty clean, actually. And they are sculpted on, if I'm not mistaken, not painted on. So, for something that small, that's pretty good. Yeah, and same goes for the Predator Hound. It looks great, looks pretty gosh darn articulated. And, you know, to tell you the truth, I don't know if I'll do this um, just because that might be overkill, but obviously in the third Predator film... There are a bunch of Predator Hounds, right? At least three of them. And I only have one from NECA. I kind of regret not getting any more way back when, like, what, 10 years ago at this point. And now they're not exactly easy to track down. Um, so, you know, I, I, I kind of want to get a few of these. At least three of them. Um, I think it will look cool, and I know I'm going to be picking up Falconer, Tracker, and uh, Berserker, so kind of complete uh, the team, but we will see. And the third item from Hyatt Toys is the Cloaked Jungle Hunter Predator. This one's pretty cool. I'm definitely looking forward to this one. Obviously, Jungle Hunter, that's my number one Predator. You gotta love him. And... I mean, he looks pretty gosh darn cool. He's slated for August 2020, just like the other two, all retailing for $20, and it looks good. There's really not a whole lot to say. If you know Hyatt Toys, then you pretty much know what to expect, and I'm looking forward to it. It's cool, it's translucent, and I will probably be picking it up. Alrighty, NECA, we are back to you, and you gave us our first look, finally at the Kenner Homage Drake figure and it looks cool it you know it really makes me wish we can have Drake from the film uh, at least to go with our Vasquez figures right and I don't know if they don't do they not have the license to the actor I honestly don't know what's up with that experts out there you know I know y'all are out there uh, let me know but it would be cool to have a Drake, uh, like a regular one and a burned one, because he did 
Uh, you know, he had acid blood all over him, didn't make it, but he was a cool character. Hope we get a figure. But meanwhile, as a stand in, Kenner Homage Drake, he was a fun figure. He was a little nuts with the giant turret and the funky clothing, um, but it looks cool. Uh, it looks like they are using, uh, m the majority of the figure is basically Dutch, right? Uh, the boots, the pants, and the upper body. That's pretty much all Dutch. I I'm not sure about the t-shirt. Maybe they're using parts of different Dutches. There's so many of them. Uh, Jungle Briefing and all the other ones, but it looks cool. I do like the turn and the different attachments that they have on him. And the head sculpt looks cool. Clearly, they are trying to redo the figure, right? And the figure had that funky expression. Looks like he's kind of shampated. But it's definitely faithful to the figure. And I'm not certain if this feller is an ultimate. But he looks great. And even got a picture here with the purple alien, which... Oh, don't knock over my laser shot. I got her right here. She's she's good looking. That's a great figure. Pretty much same as most aliens we have, but I love her. Got her on card, and I got Kenner Vasquez on card too. So there you go. So Kenner uh, Drake will definitely fit in. And once again, they show us dioramas that we will never get. Neka, just do it. All right, give us some dioramas. They're gonna be expensive. What can you do, right? But I know a lot of folks out there, including myself, we would love them. And to all you customizers out there doing your own dioramas and your own figures, I got some folks out there in our Facebook groups who have already done a Drake and they did a great job. So props to them, you know, they're, they're creative. They really are, they, they know how to get shit done. But uh, it looks great, definitely looking forward to it. And let me know, uh, your thoughts on him. Alrighty, so the next one is the Ultimate Alien 3 Dog Alien, or the Runner Alien. And I talked about her in a previous video uh, regarding the Comic-Con reveals. She definitely looks really, really cool. I'm pretty sure the color on her is a little bit more movie accurate than the ones we've already gotten. And... I say this in some videos, the theme of the Alien movies is wet, I know it sounds weird, but she looks more wet. God, why do I say these things? Look, you know, it's true, that's just the way things are. And in that video, I definitely touched on the accessories. You get um, a new chest burster, which I'm definitely happy about. It's a brand new sculpt, and you get the actual... Uh, alien uh queen alien chest burst or logo that's on uh that was used for promotions for the film so definitely looking forward to her it would be great to have her um just more stuff to add to the alien 3 shelf what with the creature pack which was awesome i had some problems with it but worked it out and yeah i mean there's really not a whole lot to say because pretty much we own the figure right uh, they had a, a dark brown version and a light brown version, if I'm not mistaken. And those were cool. So, yeah. Not a whole lot to say. Like I said, let's move on. Alright, last but not least is the actual new Kenner line by NECA. At Toy Fair, they did reveal a Neomorph. And they did reveal, sorry my phone went off, and they did reveal a Berserker Predator. In that video, I said I'd really love to see the packaging for these guys. They're probably not ready to show it off. And now they are ready, and it's pretty much what you would expect, right? They're re they're continuing the Kenner line, so obviously the boxes are going to just look Kenner. And they look great. I'm definitely looking forward to them. I like how the Neomorph comes with a baby Neomorph, and I do like how they... Um, did the art for the Berserker and the Neomorph. It looks kind of cool, kind of funky. So very much looking forward to these figures. I'm probably going to be buying two of each, one to keep on card for the Kenner wall and then one loose to put on my shelf and mess around with. So definitely looking forward to them. They look great. And I'm especially looking forward to do 
um, looking forward to what they're going to do next with this brand new Kenner line. I mean, they're doing a Berserker. Why not do a Falconer and a Tracker, right? And uh, down the line, a Hound, and then they can move on to, hell, a City Hunter, right? Um, just getting all the main ones out of the way. But uh, as a starting point, definitely excited. Okay, now that we're done with the figure news, let's get into some rumors and leaks, right? So I posted a photo on my community tab, uh, which was a screenshot of a user on Twitter who asked NECA, NECA, sorry to bother you, are we still going to get the Pred Alien this year? This was by Protoguest Animations. NECA replied, and... Oh, I think we could pretty much say the same thing about Wolf. I do not know what is happening with those figures. They did them in the past, and they're in very, very high demand. So it would kind of be stupid not to release them, right? I mean, is it a licensing issue? What's the deal? I, again, I got some experts out there. You let me know, but... Uh, something's going on, and I just do not know what it is. They leaked that prototype of a wolf some time ago, and we have just not gotten anything. I thought we were going to get something at Toy Fair. thought we were going to get something at Comic-Con. thought we were going to get something at New York Comic-Con, and we got nothing. <sighs> this really sucks, but I'm hoping... Next year will be happy. That's it. That's the final year we're going to get them. But don't get your hopes up too high, folks, because we have been waiting a long time as it is. But we will have to wait and see. Next thing up, and this is pretty much just a very, very broad thing that Neck has said. Twitter user The Dude. I like that name. Good old Jeff Bridges. Just got laser shot Predator and he's awesome. Any new Predators coming out anytime soon? Cough, cough, Alpha. We're still waiting on Alpha. We are. He should be coming soon though. Necro replied, yes, and about a dozen more in the works. What does that mean? Does that mean Wolf? Does that mean Wolf? I would, come on, Neca. Tell us what's happening. But yeah, no, a dozen predators, that's a lot. We can only speculate what they are. For all we know, they could be redoing the super predators, Berserker, Tracker, Falconer, or they can just be doing more Kenner homage stuff. There's definitely a couple that they have missed out on doing, but pretty much they've gotten through them all. Considering we got laser shot, and that was a predator I didn't think we would get for a while. But, uh,. We got them. so look there's only there's so much to talk about when it comes to a dozen more and they said about a dozen so we'll have to wait and see but with that said ladies and gentlemen lovely folks in the communities that is pretty much it I'm going through my phone making sure I did not miss anything else and I do not believe I think I did so with that said, I think we can pretty much wrap up the video here. I do apologize for the absence, but hopefully that won't be the case for too much longer. And this was a pretty long episode. I think I clocked in at about 20 minutes. We'll see what happens when we edit. And by the way, folks, if you haven't already, go check out on Facebook Alien Predator Collectors Prime Group and Trophy Room. Those are perfect groups for you. If you love Alien Predator stuff like me, it can be anything, go there. Got some lovely folks out there who just want to talk everything Alien and Predator. And with that said, people, have a good morning, evening, midday, whatever, and take care.